Welcome back to Card Fan 101, and this is part two of my claw, claw machine unboxing. The claw. So, sorry, but I have this my charger cord. Um, so I had to set up a little. But in the last video, I left off with with the box and taking out the stuff. So I cleaned up the stuff and everything and all the cardboard and stuff back inside there and then close that and reposition and then I took out the actual claw machine so here's the actual claw machine um now when you, when you first take it out of the box you would find that the claw machine, that that thing, that's the claw, is, would be over here, on this side, the right side, and this thing's on top, and you would have this plastic on t on like on the claw to protect it, and you'd have this thing to connect like the um the string that goes down on to the claw machine so it doesn't um keep shaking around in the box when when you buy it so so that was hard when you first get it out that is hard to take off um the way i did it was i just i put in some ba i put in batteries and i bring it over to the chute and i pressed it down and then i put my finger and took it off but first I unwrapped this part. This part was easiest. But yes, yeah, so that's that. And then the the when you first unbox it you also get you also get some coins. These are the coins. I have a rubber band on them. But when you first get them they'll be like all sealed up and here's the coin container right here. Kinda blended in. But it says take it off is open right there so it's gonna be like so now there's like this hole right here and it'll be like in there in here like so and then you just take them out so this is where all the, I don't think you guys can see that so so this is where all the coins would go after they put the coins in and then you just Close it back up like this. Just like so. That. And then right here. You guys can kind of see that. If you guys want to touch your head a little. And then I'm going to keep the light on because it's kind of hard to see. So here's the on and off button over here near the parachute. And it also has made in China right there on and off and then here's the actual battery compartment as you can see it says pull to open and there's a screw down there and then it takes 4d batteries and those are these kind of batteries the big bulky round ones not the square ones the big one i got energizer yeah so and then they also have all across the um, bottom, they have these studs, which have these um, soft things. In. I don't know what they're specifically called, but they they are used to make the claw oops, stay still. But yeah, so they include that so it stays still. But now I'm gonna be um, um, I'm gonna be tick, uh, putting in the batteries. So got my screw. And screw that. See. Sorry. Oops, I've been twisting it the wrong way. It's kind of a long screw. So this is how long the screw is. 
Um, and then once you open that, there's this um, thing right here, and you just, sorry, you just hold it and pull that out, just like so. So now it's open. Here's that. Um, then you would put your batteries in. And make sure the battery or the switch is off when you put the batteries in. It says the instruction. It says that. Oops, sorry. And I'm not using my tripod right now, just because I'm on the bed to review this. So sorry if it seems a little shaky. So once you have the batteries on, you put back the lid. And you screw it back on. Nice and tight. Just to make sure. So now it's in. Now I can turn this off and flip it back up. Um, I have a switch made made the switch yet, but now I'm just gonna be showing some other stuff. A squirrel cake. Um, so I just actually kept the receipt, and I don't know if you guys are supposed to see this, but. Oops. Sorry, I don't, I'm not really sure if he's supposed to see this, but it, it cost me 27.05 in total, two dollars shipping, so that sucks. The two dollars tax, that sucks. Two dollars tax, man. But anyway, um, so that's that. The coins, let me show you the coins. So, I come in this bag, and this is the part where it says small parts, small parts you not put in your mouth, and then here's the coins. So there's three different types. There's, all the back of them are the same, they just look like this. But on the back we have like 20, a 10, and a 50. And you get 30 coins in total. And you get 10 10s, 10 20s, 10 10 50s. And they're all kind of like a dime size. A dime size in the US, if you guys have dimes, there's a size of that. And compared to a US quarter, looks like this. And it's quite bigger, but quarters work on this too. Any coin works on this, and I'll show you why in the next video though, because this one's nearing to its end, so this is going to be part two. But so yeah, so there's the coins, and what else? I want to get as much stuff as possible in this video, and then show the rest in the next video. Yeah, that's pretty much all for this part two. So I hope you guys stay tuned to part three. Sorry if you guys don't like parts, but I don't know. For those people who want solid, rock solid detail, this is for you guys. So I hope you guys come back to Card Fan 101 for part three. And just thanks, thanks for watching. But thanks, or uh, subscribe, rate, like, and comment while you're at it. So, thanks for watching. Bye.